Welcome to the 30 Day Photo Challenge, April 2021 edition. My name is Elsie Kifuengare and I'm a Kenyan photographer based in the UK. So for the whole month of April, I'll be sharing with you uh, photo stories by BIPOC women photographers and we have one with us now. Would you like to introduce yourself? <laughs> hey, hi, hi everyone. My name is Mariam Turaki. I am a photo journalist based in Abuja, Nigeria. And yeah. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you so much for agreeing to do this collaboration project with me. So uh, Miriam, would you like to talk us through your photographs today? Okay, yeah, sure. So uh, these photographs are of a personal project which I started last year. And the project is simply titled Identity and the Nigerian Woman. And uh, it basically looks at what identity means to the Nigerian woman. And uh, I guess in, in Nigeria, like I guess many other um, African countries, it's very, um, it's very male dominated and women are sort of told how to live their lives. So it's either by culture, by religion, you know, by society, family, and, you know, it's, it's all these expectations that people have of them. And, you know, very rarely are they asked, are women asked, you know, what they want for themselves. And so, um, you know, I just started talking to the women around me and the women I meet and asking them what their identity means to them, you know, ask, asking them what, you know, word that they, they would be, use to best describe the identity they want and, you know, how, um, how living the identity in Nigeria, what it is like. Mm. And one of the women I photographed, the woman here is Hadiza, and that's her in the first picture. And for Hadiza, um, Hadiza is from a Muslim family. And I guess, as many Muslims would know, you know, they're very um, conservative and very quiet. Women are expected to be more or less docile. So, you know, just do what you're told to do. And for Hadiza, um, while talking with her, she started talking about fe feminism and how, you know, there are different types of feminism and the feminism that, you know, she, she sort of um, associated with or that spoke out to her was, you know, where was sort of like sexual li liberation. So being able to, you know, have sex or sleep with people and not feel guilty about it and basically hone the power to sex. And um, that, that, that is what her identity is for her, like part of what her identity is for her. And, you mm -hmm. know, it also stems with like female relationships in that she feels like safer and more comfortable with women as opposed to men. So you would often find her say, I don't like men. And I only like men for maybe one reason alone. And, you know, people tend to look at her in a funny way, but, you know, I, I, I usually talk to people like, okay, you know, that's what she wants. And she's telling people and people are offended by it. People are affronted by it. Mm. And, you know, she has the courage to tell people what it is that she wants. But, you know, other people are around, are just walking around, just not saying what they want and living very unhappy lives and, mm -hmm. you know, just being very conservative and just keeping quiet. And like, when you see them, you know, I can't, I really can't explain it, but, you know, and, and she's such a very sweet, very free spirit that if she lets you into your space, it's, it, it's something you would always want to come to. Mm. And she's become such a dear friend of mine. And so, um, you know, the first picture is her just laying on her bed. Um, I think at this point, she was really hooked on Korean TV shows. <laughs> so she, she was, she, at, at this she forgot I was in the room and that I was photographing and she just let me be and just let me in her space. And I, I, I love her so much for that. And when I asked her the word that describes her identity, she says duty. Mm. And it's it's duty in that, you know, she's a woman, she's the first daughter, she's, um, you know, an older sister. 
So having to look out for her siblings, having to look out for her dad, having to look out for, you know, people that she would honestly not rather look out for. And, you know, I, I feel that sort of depicts the second, the, in, in the second picture, the, and that's her sister. And they, they fight a lot. They, that third picture where they're smiling at each other is actually a moment of them actually fighting. Like they're actually trading insults. And I was lucky enough to get it because it looks like, so, like people see it and imagine that. And I asked them what they think was going on. And they're like, oh, maybe they just shared a joke or something. And I tell them, no, you know, it's it's actually insults that they were trading. It's 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 that sibling banter right mm. there. That, like, that's that's what you see right there. And yeah, so Hadiza is 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 one of the, the 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 few women I photographed, and it's an ongoing ongoing project. So I I hope to travel around Nigeria to speak to as many women as possible, as many women that would let me into their space, and as many as many women that would speak very openly to me about you know what their identity means to them. So mm. yeah. Oh, wow. Thank you so much for sharing that story. And your images, images are really, really uh, interesting to look at and the stories behind them. Because even, like you said, um, especially with the last photograph where the two sisters look like they're just even almost like laughing and embracing each other with their eyes, the way they're looking at each yeah. other. But you said they were fighting. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the conflict you see even if if you hadn't like you said you ask people what do they think is happening in that photograph you always get the wrong answer right yeah yeah and, yes. and i think this is the the whole thing sometimes with documentary photography stories need to be told right um um and as, as also with these photographs you have to tell a story so people can understand the direction of where you're taking your project, right? Do you find yourself having to explain too much about your work where sometimes you don't need to? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I mean, not necessarily. I mean, sometimes people just want to know more about the, the, the women in the photographs. So that leads to me like talking a lot about what the women have shared with me and you know what I've experienced with them. So I don't I don't naturally find myself over explaining unless you know I'm asked sort of like detailed questions about like the subject matter of you know um, my project and what you know I hope to achieve with it and mm. that's when I sort of get into details. But when people are just looking through the pictures, they I, I think they want to get a sense of you know who is in that picture of mm -hmm. who the, um, was photographed. So yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you find your uh, project like this uh, one that has an ending or one that will be ongoing and probably take uh, different forms, so to speak? How do you see your project like this going? Uh, honestly, I don't see an ending right now. Um, mm -hmm. I see, you know, I'm still, I'm still researching and trying to find ways to make the projects even stronger. So I'm trying to find ways to to um, impute sound, impute video, to you know, just get people to understand or to have a stronger sense of you know the the people who are being photographed, the, the people mm -hmm. that they are seeing. So you know, even getting someone's voice, you know, the voice is part of someone's identity. Yes. So you know, mannerisms caught on video are part of you know someone's identity. So you know, just little ways to sort of just. I guess um, make the project stronger. So I, right now, I don't see an ending, but probably mm -hmm. in the future, maybe. But it's it's ongoing as of right now. I like the way you speak about that. Like the project is not just um, photography. You you want to incorporate like audio or both audio and video, and having those elements in uh, in this project. Do you? perhaps see yourself uh, one day exhibiting this project? Uh, yes, I do see myself exhibiting. So I have, I've, I've, you know, I've, people have asked me to reach out to like galleries and organizations mm. to, to try to exhibit, but I don't think I have um, as many images or as many women 
as I would want. So I, I would at least want to, if I'm exhibiting, I would like to at least exhibit 10 women. Mm -hmm. And so far, I think I have six. So yeah, it's, you know, I'm, I'm still not there yet. <laughs> so it's a working prog progress, right? Yeah. Uh, yes, exactly. Sure, yeah, soon, soon it's gonna like happen and you'll fin you've yeah. kind of like finished, I'll put it in quotes because you said it will be an <laughs> ongoing project. <laughs> you'll finish it yeah. for this exhibition <laughs> and then hopefully yeah. keep it going by uh, talking to other women mm -hmm. and finding out about their identities. And actually love this uh, idea of um, speaking to women. And you're right, coming from cultural backgrounds where women are so like still pushed to the background, like you should not be seen, you should not be heard, <laughs> but yeah. yet we are more or less being seen and being heard because <laughs> we are running stuff behind the scenes. And mm -hmm, other people mm -hmm. are taking credit for it, which is not even fair, yeah. so to speak. So, yeah, yeah I, I do appreciate this kind of project and I do appreciate you sharing the stories thank with you. us. So thank you so thank much you. for that. Thank you. So much. <laughs> thank, um, you. thank you. <laughs> so next is we're going to do the fire question round. <laughs> I thought this would be wow. a fun way to ask uh, <laughs> quick photography questions. <laughs> So just pick the first thing that comes to mind. Do not overthink it. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. So are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So fixed lens or telephoto? Fixed. Lightroom or Photoshop? Lightroom. Uh, color or black and white? Color. Yeah. <laughs> DSLR <laughs> or mirrorless? Mirrorless. Uh, film or digital? Huh, film. Film. <laughs> That's oh. it. You've done all five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so all right. Huh. That wasn't so okay. hard. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, it wasn't hard. It wasn't so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people expect it to be like um, something like I was going to ask like a difficult question, like yeah, how so you when, shot when, the lighting. Oh. Yeah, exactly. So I, you know, I expected, you know, uh, maybe shutter speed questions. I also, I, I, I started panicking. <laughs> but, okay. This was good. No. This was good. This was fair. It was a fair, fair game. Very okay, fair game. Cool. <laughs> yeah. uh, as long as you feel now relaxed. <laughs> yes. You weren't writing an essay right. or a dissertation. Mm -hmm. You're good. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you so much, Miriam, for sharing with thank us you. your amazing work. Uh, please thank be sure so to much. follow her on uh, her social media website. I'll leave all the details below in the description bar. So until next time, see you later. Bye. Great. Bye. Bye.